Now, this is out of the box, you see, standard sort of flat file looking. Yes, you can filter at the top. You can change the activity types. Um, you've got different types of views that you can build very easily. And if you hit show charts at the top, and if you drop nice. down activities by month to something else like type or something, then you can do that. Okay, so you, you can use these standard flat form views. So if Alistair clicks in part of that pie chart, can, you can make it graphically a little bit easier to use but it's not in a way that people actually really want to look at things what people really want and the reason why we've developed the yeah. team calendar solution is we had customers saying if only there was a way that I could look at all of my activities for myself but more importantly for my team because I manage a team of people in a calendar view pretty much everybody that ever uses Dynamics 365 probably use Microsoft Office Outlook and they can't do this in Outlook. You can't say, show me all of my team's activities in an Outlook calendar like this. So we have developed a team calendar and Alistair is currently showing and he, we're looking at a three monthly view. This so is this is a team, we'll just call it first calendar. There's the people, they are the users. And these are the activity types which we can toggle off and we can toggle on and we can also have participation types and activity status we can show open or closed now people say oh well i'm only interested in open yeah great just tick on the open a lot of people want to see what's also happened so even completed activities phone calls appointments tasks service activities they'll all appear on the calendar but you have this ability uniquely to say okay i'm only interested in phone calls or i'm only interested in open phone calls or actually i'm only interested in last month's closed phone calls yeah because rather than work in those fairly bulk standard flat file views, you've got it in a calendar. What's even better is if you're running a team of people and those people are out in the field, salespeople going on appointments, service people doing appointments to sort out uh, equipment, then you can have a calendar that's being looked at by a either a, a team manager or maybe somebody that works in the team support. Uh, they bring up the calendar they go to the appointment and they can just drag and drop it. And somebody said, well, actually, I can't do it on the 10th. Can I make it the 23rd? You can just drop it down and put it in the 23rd. And look, obviously, you can open it if you just open that record. Um, if they want to change the time, we've opened the record from the calendar view. We can go and change the time. We can change the duration. We can make notes. We can even reassign it to somebody else. And we save it. And it's then going to go back into the calendar. It will be updated with its new date, new time, new owner. That is what makes CRM so great it's the ability to be able to update information quickly yeah. but what better than from a calendar and it's easier to yeah. go into a calendar and say well here's my week because obviously what we're looking at now is the three monthly view if you go to the monthly view so there's the monthly view so now i'm focused on the month now i'm focused on the week then we want to look at the day and then we want to look at this is my to-do list. This is exactly how I work every morning. Every day I'll come in, I'll make a to-do list. I'll say, that's what my, what my day looks like. This is what I have to get done for me to be successful today. And that's that's exactly yeah. it. That's the yeah. to-do list. For your own personal use, it's great. You manage a team, it's amazing.